Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and recently I needed to uh, create this little graphic here and uh, put uh, this guy looking at the big picture and then in the picture I wanted the words the big picture and uh, so because the picture has a perspective to it I also wanted the text to have a perspective to it. So uh, what I did was I looked on the internet and there's a lot of really hard ways and I thought well this you know I think I can find something easier so I'm going to share with you what I did find. So first of all we'll go over and click on the text uh, item over here on the left and uh, I think we've got about the right size there so we're going to go ahead and type in the big picture and we got it on all caps. There we go and uh, it's a little bit too big for our picture so we're going to squeeze it down a little bit by holding our finger on the control key and uh, we'll bring this back to about here and then we're going to click and drag it to within the picture and I think we still need to make it smaller so we'll make it a little bit smaller and it should be in about the center of the picture so we'll bring it down just a little bit okay now we've got the big picture but that doesn't have any perspective to it simple solution we right click on it and we go to warp text and we click up here and we go to bulge okay now it's bulged but that's not what we really want what we really want is it to be bulged on the left hand side so we slide this middle slider over there and then also when that moves the uh, the top one moves the bend moves so we need to get that to zero and we can just slide it like that or just type in a zero up there there we go all right, so now we've got it done, but take a look at it. That doesn't look too good because we're losing part of our letters. And that was my first uh, discovery. So we're going to click on this again, and we're going to click on um, uh, do, 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 warp text, and we'll bring this all back to normal. We'll just click on none up here. None, okay. Now, how do we, how do we fix that problem? Well, we put a bunch of spaces in at the end of the word picture. Okay, and I don't know, 15, 20 spaces will go out like so. Now, we've made our text longer, so we'll run out of text before we get to the, to the point. So go ahead and right-click, Warp Text, click on Bulge. And once again, now we have to slide our little slider over to the left and get this little guy down to zero. And as you can see, We've got, we could play with that a little bit, but we've got the big picture where we want it. And uh, that's as easy as it gets as far as putting the, the, uh, the, the uh, perspective in. Now, if we want that to pinch down a little bit more, we can actually click at the end and start hitting the delete key, and that'll squeeze it down a little bit more. But uh, now we got it all done, so we'll just click on there and we'll save it. And we've got our perspective text. So I hope that's been helpful. I want to thank you for watching, and God bless you.